dear students welcome to social science class today we shall discuss european transition euro you know europe europe is a, the one of the continents how many continents are there seven continents europe asia asia is the biggest continent africa north america south america australia and antarctica here one picture your name hagia sophia a monument this hagia sophia is one of the important monument in the history of the world it was built in the 6th century ad now it is preserved as a history museum in turkey it is the epitome of the architectural splendors of constantinople a rich a city rich in historical monuments do you know the importance of constantinople in the history of the world here one map locate constantinople in the map here constantinople here black sea mediterranean sea europe asia this is the oldest eastern roman empire constantinople is the capital was the capital of eastern roman empire constantinople the present name istanbul the erstwhile capital of eastern roman empire has a unique place in the history of the world what were the features of constantinople constantinople in the pratyegade endana a center of knowledge a board of scholars and a treasure trove of scholarly texts gateway from asia to europe old traders asia in europe lekum europe nu tirichum asia lekku okke trade nadathirunnathu constantinople valiyana gateway from asia to europe when turks conquered constantinople in 1453 it resulted in the fall of the centuries old eastern roman empire consequently scholars artists and writers fled from constantinople to nearby areas in great numbers many of them migrated to italy now italy is situated what about italy italy is situated in europe why did they migrate scholars artists migrated to Italy Italy was the country that upheld the rich Greco-Roman tradition the rich Italian traders were the patron of art literature and culture patron means a person who gives many support money and the support of artists these traders were need to preserve the historical and the cultural heritage the italian cities furthered thinking and encouraged spirit of learning among the migrant scholars migrant scholars in uh, italian cities further thinking and encouraged the spirit of learning among the immigrant scholars by the end of the 13th century the renaissance which began in italy flourished and spread other nations renaissance renaissance is a french word meaning rebirth rebirth or revival of or renewed interest in something the fine arts literature and history in the medieval period were centered on religious ideology literature loke religious ideology ana main aayittu undayirunnathu the texts were invariably written in greek and latin languages greek and latin languages these languages were considered elite and scholarly by the dawn of 13th century latin and greek gave way to regional languages this period regional languages was developed english spanish and french the writers of this period adopted the life of the 
common man as a center theme of their work writers uh, of this period in, uh, include action, uh, the life of the common man as a center theme of their work the literature of this period was no longer confined to religion and philosophy but gave way to themes that depict diverse aspects of human life similar changes occurred in other art forms like painting and sculpture this vision primarily concerned with the various aspects of human life is known as humanism the new spirit of humanism inspired unique thought on the universe and human life it promoted reasoning and the spirit of enquiry pudhiya kandathalukal consequently a new awakening in all spheres of human life became visible in europe and it is known as the renaissance i hope all of you understood this topic renaissance